Hello and welcome to the Chaotic Morons. We are here, as you can tell, playing Minecraft version 1.1, of course. I finally had the update and I read, read the patch report and it said in 1.0, the official version, it said removed Herobrine. So you want to know what I've done? I've gone and put it m back in. Yes, that's right, we are playing the Herobrine mod for 1.1. Well, testing it out, really. So what we're going to do is we're going to play single player. So bear with me a moment. Okay, as you can see I've already made one save file, but that's just making a load of piston creations. So far I've made a 4x4 four four piston door, that's about it. Um, I will be making my own adventure map. It will involve a shitload of pistons and redstone. But yeah, let's just create a new world, call it Herobrine and use the seed gimme a break on the flat world server that way I can see everything plus gimme a break basically spawns you right next to a village so let's go ahead and do that creative of course that way you can easily create the totem required Alright, let's do this then. God, how many times do I have to bloody do that achievement? I've got it about 700 times. Every time I log into Minecraft, my bloody achievements are always gone. Anyway, wait a minute. Am I... am I... Oh, I am. I'm the bloody default skin. Damn it. I forgot that when you update, you it removes your skin as well. God damn it. Um, anyway. I will be making myself a tower as well, so I can see all over the land in case Herobrine creates something. Now let's go ahead and show you how to create his totem. First of all, you will need a piece of netherrack, two pieces of gold, a piece of soul sand, eight pieces of bone, and one flint and steel. Also, I would recommend getting some swords. So, I will be using the golden sword of justice. I'll need a few because they wear down quick. Also you will need a flint and steel to activate it. Now first of all you will need to find a crafting table. Scoot over for a second Squidward. Um, so you take your soul sand, you place it in there and basically surround it with bone. Like that. O'Brien totem, see? Now also included this mod Squidward's a doctor now. Also included this mod there are three music discs which I will demonstrate to you um, just get rid of these swords for now there's have you seen the Herobrine Christmas tune and it's Herobrine and I will also need a jukebox for that the golden sword of justice okay what we'll do jukebox down I'm going to play them in this order, starting with the Christmas tune. This is how you make it. Two golden blocks, Herobrine Totem, Netherrack, then light it. I'm not going to light it yet, just yet, because I want to show you the music. Always keep the totem on hand, though. Now let's light this sucker. Yes, I lit the totem. I know what I did. Well, there's nothing out of the ordinary yet except for a cow.
Oh, let's build a tower so we can see what's going on. And that was that music. Let's get another bit. That one. Just gonna build myself a basic tower, just a straight tower block. I was walking through the country, minding my own business, looking for some roses and some grass. When I saw a ghastly figure with glowing white eyes, oh boy, I ran so fast. Is Harold Brin? Is Harold Brin? I locked away my diamonds and I threw away the key. Is Harold Brin? Is Harold Brin? He's not just dead brother, and he's coming for me. So I hid in my house. I was minding my own business, hoping you would never find me. How wrong was I there when he appeared at my window? Now I'm covered in pee. It's Harold Brin, it's Harold Brin. His eyes as white as diamonds, and his teeth like the sea. It's Harold Brin, it's Harold Brin. He's not just dead brother, and he's following me. 1.6 days later, I read the patch paper To find there was no more Harold Brim Oh boy, I was glad, and not at all sad To finally see him go Whoops. Nearly forgot about that. You have to have it set to hard, otherwise nothing will happen. This one is a little bit creepier. And those are the bonus songs that come with the mod. And also in this mod are included Chuck Norris, Notch, and of course Herobrine. Chuck Norris is the one that builds stuff, and he is the most creepiest of all in this mod. Notch, he's awesome. He just he's basically on your side, he tries to kill Herobrine when he sees him. He says you're not supposed to be in this game. And all that stuff. And Harry Brown, of course, talks backwards, and Chuck Norris just screams roundhouse kick. And have you? And Harry Brown says, "Have you seen my grave?" Or listen to Led Zeppelin or random crap. He also posts signs around saying, "I'm a griefer" or "Am I a ghost?" Just random stuff. It's creepy when you first see it. Um, okay, that's the base done.
And a lot of people would be wondering why are there slimes everywhere? Well, that's because in this version, on this map version, you are on ground level 5, which is where slimes usually spawn tw level 20 and under. So, yeah. Put that on the wrong side. God damn it. Very noisy things, aren't they, slimes? I hate the way that Herobrine makes you wait. Well, the quickest way to make him spawn is just run away from the totem. But I want to wait. Ah, darkness. That's another feature. You have dreams. Why does it do that? Shit. God damn it. Alright then, can anyone see anything yet? Any little creations? No, oh, right, yeah, forgot about the jukebox. Right, just for showmanship's sake, I'm going to go to sleep. Now, he should spawn in your sleep. So, let's see what happens. Should have dreams. Apparently not. Maybe the bed has to be inside, I don't know. Anyway, let's just walk off into the distance and see if he follows us. So should Chuck Norris, and there's an Enderman over there. Anyway, let's just walk off into the distance. Eventually, he should follow you. You'll find out because you'll hear creepy music. Perhaps not, then. Interesting. It usually works for me not doing that. Very interesting. Have I broke the mod already? No, I think I might have broken the mod somehow. Um, because there's no Chuck Norris or Herobrine around, so yeah, I think I've broken the mod. Maybe it doesn't work on. No, I have had it working before on the Super Flat map because I tested it out to make sure it works, and I've not done an update since. So I don't know what's wrong. I've had this working on the Super Flat map before. This is strange. Um, shit. You know what? I'm gonna switch the map. I'm gonna delete this map and I'm just gonna change it to n default world type.
So basically, if you type in "give me a break," you'll basically spawn every single time next to a village, like so. Watch when it loads. Come on! That was a lot of villagers. Um, yes, yeah, so basically that's your spawn point and you spawn right next to it. A decent sized village. And it's lagging for me because it's got a lot to load. Oh fuck! Uh, what? What? That was Chuck Norris. That, that's not supposed to happen. I haven't planted... <coughs> fuck! Sake! I haven't... Whoa, fuck! I've not even put the fucking totem down! Shit! Yeah, I think I've broken the mod. Um, Because that's not supposed to happen until you plant the totem. Oh, shit. And there's fire there. Random... <coughs> fuck! Random fire. Um, yeah, and there's... <coughs> fuck off, Chuck Norris! Nope, that's Harry Bryan. Um, Why has he randomly spawned? And basically, that's one half of... <coughs> fuck off, Chuck Norris! That's one of his traps where if you stand on this pressure plate, it's TNT underneath a piece of sand. Like that. Sometimes he puts more than one block of TNT and there's Herobrine. I don't understand this. I've not planted a totem anywhere. This doesn't make sense. Fuck off. Chuck Norris just used lightning. Random glass. Lots of random glass. Look, there's Chuck Norris. Eee! N! Run! Fly even. Wait a minute. That's in the shape of a cross. It's his grave. Diggy diggy hole. Oh, well, there's nothing here. Let's get back up to the surface. Um, where's all of his other creations, like the houses and shit? Like Jesus Christ, he absolutely loves these TNT things. Fuck off, Herobrine. He loves his TNT bomb creations. H E. I can't say hello. This is single player. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. His creations. Ah, oh, fuck off! Oh yeah, that's Chuck Norris screaming, by the way. Yeah. One of his creations. Basically, you break that lava. Um, fucking hell! God, imagine if Game Chap and Bertie had a crack at this. They would. They would be going quite insane constantly shouting E. Basically what this one does, you just break that for showmanship's sake, it does that, pushes you into the lava. I used to think it was TNT but it's not. Oh my god, what is with the random glass? That's just weird. There's a zombie there. There's a zombie. A random cross of sand. Suspicious. Also, he plants trees now. Which is very suspicious. But it's clever. Very clever. The tree. I don't understand this though. How can he spawn without a totem? It's, it's not right. I'm, I'm going to build a totem anyway. The bad thing about creative mode is you can't wear armour. Because, of course, when you open your inventory, this pops up. 
so you cannot wear armor whatsoever. And there was also meant to be something about campfires for Herobrine, but I can't remember what you're supposed to do. Let's just throw this crap in there. Um, ah, yes. Here we go. Let's build another Herobrine totem. And... What I'm wondering, though, is if it said in patch number 1.0, removed Herobrine. Does that mean he actually existed? And come on. Removed Herobrine. He must have been in it. Why do I want a golden shovel? I just want my golden sword of justice. Lots of golden sword of justice. Yes, I do know what I've done. I've lit the totem when you're already here. Um, so basically for a campfire, you just, not soul sign, you need netherrack, which you place in the ground like so, um, you set fire to it, and then you just place some stone slab, stone brick chairs around it, like so, like that, there you are, one campfire fit for three people. And you would also need a drink. Um, I've got no idea how you make whiskey in this. It's meant to, I think it was potion of healing, because that's the sort of brown colour, so I'm just drinking milk. If you do it in bursts like that, it will never run out. Which is a glitch imported into the game. Anyway, just for showmanship's sake, I'm just going to randomly walk away, fly away even, and he does follow you. Quickly as well. You, normally you just wait around, wait for a sight of him, but no, you're supposed to run away from him. And he will randomly spawn stuff, or sometimes spawn right next to you. Same with Chuck Norris, as we found out in the beginning of this. And... Why is it not doing anything? Oh, oh, there's Chuck Norris. So you see, you just basically... <coughs> Fuck! Ah, oh, look, he spawned his... Hero... Chickens, I don't know what they're called. Come on, just fall in a hole, fall in a hole. Come on, fall in a hole. The best way to kill those is just spawn a cactus. Or you could just dump them in a hole like that and just fly away. Um, yeah, let's get back to the totem. Fucking hell. Chuck Norris is the scariest because he does all those shit. It's, he's the one that screams, basically. Which is annoying. It's a horrible scream. I'm waiting for him to spawn one of those trees, because they are incredible when you see them. It's very clever. Basically, you break the bottom block of the tree like you normally would. You normally take the bottom block of the tree first. And then you take the ones above it. So basically, you take the bottom block of the tree and it ignites TNT somehow. And he spawned another house. And O. It's the letter O and lots of glass. Um, this, yeah, this is the one where you push the button and pushes you into lava with an empty chest. Yep, that's O. N E O. Nice. Can you see me? Yes, I can. N E E N E E N E E N E. Fuck off, Chuck Norris. <sighs> me out. I said. That's the one that will fight you. Oh fuck, he's nicked me stuff, he's nicked me stuff, he's nicked me stuff. I want me stuff back. Mainly, I want the Herobrine Totem back. Which is there. There, 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 there. Um, what's that say? I was here. Who was here? Chuck Norris? Or Herobrine? I think Chuck Norris, because Chuck Norris is the builder who builds all this crap. And Herobrine just runs around, creeping you out. But what is with the fucking random glass? 
Is he trying to build an oil pipeline? If so, then he needs to install Technic Pack. Oh, he's built a lot of letters. Oh, look. His favourite thing. TNT. Which you can now walk straight over just one random block. Um. Yeah, that's a different version. Well, there's no sand. Ooh, ravine. I've not been into one of these ravines yet. Fuck off, Chuck Norris. Oh, fucking hell, he roundhouse kicked me. Quit with the fucking roundhouse kick. I've not heard that cave sound before. And looks like it's co becoming night. I'm going to try and sleep now and see if I can incur the wrath of Herobrine's dreams. So, I will need a bed and a bunch of torches. Not redstone torches, they barely give you any light. They do give you light, but they're jack shit, really. So, I will need a house. So I'm going to have to ask one of these test testificates. I nearly said Dr. Testudine there. So, I'm going to have to ask you guys to leave the premises, because I wish to sleep. So, please. Get the fuck out of this house. Thank you. Now, place well a bed, and it's inside a house now, so... It should work. The dreams. Yep, there we go. It has to be inside a house. And as soon as you step on these... As soon as you step on these, you exit the dream. Like that. And I was not the one that was shaking. That happens when you're inside a dream. And there's no new random shit. Good. But I still don't understand the thing about the campfire. You're supposed to create a campfire and... It will spawn Herobrine out of the fire or something like that. I don't know. Or you, like, sit at the campfire for a short amount of time. You turn around, boom. Herobrine's there. I don't know. I can't remember the report. Um, yeah, so basically, that is the Herobrine mod. I'm just gonna tell him to fuck off. Oh, he's already gone. He's already gone. When he says, R, oh, I'll be back, that basically means he's gone. He will not spawn again. Oh, no. You have to break the totem, and then it rains for a second. Like that. Yeah. That's what he says. So basically when he says, R, I'll be back, he does not come back. And then you break the totem and it says that. So, yeah. That was the Herobrine modification. I will post the link for it in the description. If you really want to try it. I'd recommend trying to play it on hardcore mode. I only sh did it on creative just to show you how to build it and what he does. But I still have not found a tree! I want to know how he does that tree. But, he hasn't planted one for me, so... Yes. That was the Herobrine modification, so... Please post in the comments which modifications you would like me to try out next. So, so long, and thanks for all the fish, everybody.